so we have reactants a gaseous system and by some chemical reaction it is converted into products product is also a gaseous system now this chemical reaction happen at constant pressure and constant temperature so this reaction is taking place at constant temperature and pressure that is temperature is constant and pressure is constant so we have reactant and this is converted into products let us say h1 denotes enthalpy of reactant E1 denotes internal energy of reactants V1 denotes volume of reactants and N1 denotes number of mole of reactants similarly we will have h2 that is enthalpy of products e2 is the internal energy of products b2 is the volume of products and n2 is the number of moles of product now you may remember relationship between enthalpy and internal energy enthalpy and internal energy and this is equals to h is equals to e plus pv so this is the relationship between enthalpy and internal energy so we have reactants and we have products let us write enthalpy for reactants so we will have h1 and this is equals to e1 plus pv1 because pressure remains constant and the constant pressure is p so p is the constant pressure and t is the constant temperature now let us write enthalpy for product so we will have h2 is equals to e2 plus pv2 because volume is v2 internal energy is e2 and enthalpy is h2 so let us subtract these two e2 plus pv2 
and this is h1 is equals to e1 plus pv1. Now if I subtract we will have h2 minus h1 is equals to e2 plus pv2 minus e1 plus pv1. h2 minus h1 we can write delta h and this becomes e2 minus e1 plus pv2 minus pv1. So we can write delta h is equals to delta e plus pv2 minus v1. Now we can use ideal gas equation for reactant and product. So for reactants we will have PV1 is equals to N1RT and for products we will have PV2 is equals to N2RT. Now we can plug these two value in this expression. So we have delta H is equals to delta E plus PV2 minus PV1. And PV2 is nothing but N2RT and PV1 is N1RT. So we will have delta H is equals to delta E plus we can take R and T common. So this is N2 minus N1. So we will have delta E plus and this is delta N R into T. So delta N denotes moles of product that is N2 minus moles of reactant that is moles of product minus moles of reactant. Sometimes this is also written as NP minus NR. Delta H denotes change in enthalpy that is HP minus HR that is enthalpy of product minus enthalpy of reactant. Similarly, delta E, this is change in internal energy. That is internal energy of product minus internal energy of reactant. So we have this equation delta H is equals to delta E plus delta N into R into T. Now one important point we have, we can apply ideal gas equation only for gaseous system. So N1 and N2 denotes moles of reactant and product only for gaseous. So this is only mole of gases. So delta N we are only calculating difference of moles of product minus reactant for gaseous system. So this is for gaseous system. And that's why sometimes we write delta E plus delta NGRT. Delta NG denotes change in number of moles. of gases for example if I have this reaction 2a plus b plus c and this is gas this is gas and this is also gas so in this case delta n is here we have 1 minus so this is product minus reactant is 2 plus 1. So this is minus 2. Now let us say if I have reaction 2A plus 3B and this gives 2C. 
this is liquid, this is gas and this is gas. So in this case we will not consider liquid. So in this case delta n is 2 minus 3 that is product minus reactant. So we will have minus 1. Now let us say if I have this reaction this is solid, this is gas, this is gas. In this case again solid will be not considered for calculating moles of reactant. So moles of reactant is only 1 and moles of product is 5. So we will have 5 minus 1. So in this case delta n is 4. So to specify that is we have to consider only gases most of the time we write delta nz that is change in number of moles of gases from product to reactant that is product minus reactant. So this is the relationship between delta H and delta E. You must remember that is delta H is equals to delta E plus delta NGRT.